Well, Evan and Jess, there's a couple of reasons why that fire threat is so high tomorrow. One, it's gonna be a little warm, warmer than it was today. Two, there's gonna be extremely high and rare winds. And then three, tall grass like you see here, serving as fuel to the fire. They're already basically calling it a, a, a war day tomorrow. So if anything drops, you automatically call for mutual and auto aid. Deer Creek Fire Chief Corey Beagle says the potential fire danger for Tuesday has been on his radar a couple of days now, and he's been preparing since then. We're going to be checking fuel levels on our pump motors twice and three times just to make sure everything's where it should be. We're going to add foam to our water tanks in order to make sure that our basically to make the water stick to the grass and it's not just dissipating. He says his department heavily relies on volunteers, so whenever there's a threat like this, he has to get the word out ahead of time. So that they can try and make plans to, as soon as possible, be available for assistance if need be. But we'll probably be staffed better tomorrow than we normally would be. Beagles tells me he also likes to keep the public up to date on everything. So they can be cautious on whatever they're doing that day because we don't want any accidental ignitions or anything like that. And Chief Beagles tells me that if you happen to see or see a fire or smoke that you report it immediately because those fires can spread very quickly. <music>